wonderful people, it's Wild here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this super grand country house. Let's get building. For this English country house you'll need the following materials. Here is the outline for the build we're creating, with this being the front and this being the back. Let's add the back wall, leaving room for the windows. This build has a stone brick base. Work in from the other side. And there's lots of room for a chimney. Each of the sides of this build is slightly different, which gives it a real realistic look as it's not perfectly symmetrical. This side just has one window. This side has a bank of windows. Now for the front. The front is symmetrical, which makes it look very grand. Fantastic. Now to build up with the walls, we are using some granite to create some coins on the corners and these are offset so that are um, different depending on the angle you're looking at. Put these on all of the corners. Now fill in the wall with some brick, going one across the top of the windows. When you get to this pointing out section here, leave it free as it's going to have a different wall texture. Almost there. The base of the first floor is done. This section is stone for the coins, brick for the walls, across the top, and then stairs to finish it off. We'll add white glass to these windows later, but let's get working on the decorations. For the three wide ones, all the windows will be decorated like this. Let's add a pillar in the center to break up the window. For all the one wide windows, decorate them like this. For the slight larger bank of windows, do something just a little different. All of these windows follow the same style, but have slight variations to fit the size.
put the glasses in and I've added dark oak floor. Now for the door. Let's get working on the upper level. Build up another five high with your coins. On every corner. One, two, three, four, five. Now for the back wall, let's add some windows. Go straight across with brick to space the bottom floor from the top floor. And then add your window spaces. We're going to have a one wide window in the center. And a three wide window on either side. This side is much the same as the bottom. We're putting a chimney on this wall so it needs lots of space. This wall is going to have two smaller windows. Now for the front. Similar windows to the first floor on the front. Now for the centre, we have to add a wall and a window. And we're going to put some little coins kind of offset here. Here's how it all should look so far. To finish off the tops of the windows, we need to add in the point of the roof. Add a terracotta element in the middle. Same on the other side. And then a smaller version in the center. For the two side walls, do a similar pattern. This time build up two before you add the, um, the highlight block. Across the back, mirror the two on the front. And one over here. Now we can decorate the top windows. These windows are the same as on the bottom story. So the three wide windows have one design, the one wide windows have another design, and you can copy them as you go. Before we can get adding the actual roof, we need to do some prep work. We need stone bricks here and some diorite stairs to create a white soffit. This goes on all of the points of the roofs, like this. Once this is added, we can get going with the actual roof.
The roof on this build is made out of stone brick. I'm going to go in later and replace some with some mossy stone brick. Let's work on the two, uh, the, on the four smaller parts of roofs, going in one each time. You'll see there's the block here, um, which slightly offsets the pattern. Have an edge of polished black stone stairs. And for the top, use some brick stairs. Now for this side. These roofs will connect to the main roof in a little bit. the blackstone edge and then finish off the top. You'll notice this centre window on the back wall is a bit shorter and is missing its top slab. This is because the roof is going to sit right on top of it. This smaller gable roof is a little bit tricky as it has to connect to a roof um, which is at a slightly offset angle. That's why we have these blocks here. Finish the roof the same way as the other roofs with some stairs. And when we get working on the big roof, it'll all connect up nicely. Let's do these larger end sections. Connect up the stone brick and go right across to this point, the stone brick on this level. Then finish the edge with some blackstone. Other side. A blackstone edge. And the same stair detail on the top. This looks like decorative brickwork. Do this on the other end. The back of the roof is fairly simple. Just connect the stairs so you have a smooth roof. For the front section of the roof, you have to be careful to connect up the edges. So add a brick there and make sure all the stairs twist the right direction. If you're having trouble with stairs twisting the wrong way, try breaking the problem stair and placing it standing from a different angle 
or break the stairs around it and place those from the other angle. For the brick decoration at the top, find the centre and place a brick block there. And then follow off with some more brick stairs. The chimneys are a really important architectural feature in this build. Let's start with the body of the chimney. Using stairs can create great shapes for chimneys. And mix in the granite and terracotta for a, different, uh, a differentiation in texture. You might need to break a few of your stairs to be able to put the whole chimney in. For the top section, find where your chimney hits the roof and break the roofing blocks in their place. Don't forget to add some terracotta and granite details. And shape with stairs. A great way to finish chimneys is with walls and pots on top. This next chimney is fairly similar but you need to be careful uh, um, when lining it up with the roof as it can be a little tricky. Not only do these add to the character of the shape of the roof, but they also add dimension to the walls. You might have to break the occasional stair to fit it in. to work on the section above here. Line it up and set this section one back. Add in a decorative element and continue up with the chimney. Your stairs may twist a bit funny so you might need to break them and replace them. One, two, three, might go up one more, four high a decorative element and finish off the top of the chimney. Now we need to add a few things to make it not look like a new build as well as adding leaves and landscaping, vines look great as ivy growing up the side of the build. So now you can create this English country house. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this one and I'll see you later.